And a good day, all of you. Jean Henderson, Pierre the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another Beverage Ramble edition. Nice sweater I'm wearing. Nice. Comfortable. Anyway, uh, today we're looking at from Iron Shield, Seven Sisters, Munchner, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, Munchner Lager. 4.8% uh, ABV. It is an amber ale or a Vienna style lager. How we look at it. Um... It gets a 3.7 score of what my hear. 3.7 out of 5 on Untap. And I think it's an 82 on Beer Advocate. I picked this up the other day. Look at that beautiful color. Nice, nice, nice. Um, Iron Shield, is, of course, is here in Lawrenceville. Um, this is my first thing I've had from them. First I've had from Iron Shield. I haven't had anything else in the breweries, actually, in Lawrenceville, so... And there's another brewery in Lawrenceville, Lawrenceville uh, Slow Pour, which um, I went to, but I have not been to this one. So, a must visit road trip to Lawrenceville, Georgia, which is about 15 minutes away from me here, where I live. So, nice, beautiful colors you can see. This is a. Uh, the Seven Sisters was original was the were the original seven legendary breweries in Munich, Germany, that hosted Oktoberfest. So, to honor these heroes, we have brewed our very own Munchner, also known as Vienna Lager. All right, noble hop aroma and multi finish. So. That's pretty much what I know about this beer. And definitely has that scent of maltiness right away. Yeah, this is nice. So let's have at it. Cheers. Oh, man. This is awesome. Man, this is good. Maltiness, there's a little slight of a caramel flavoriness. This is something I should have had for Oktoberfest or beers for the fall. But it's sort of like an almond, nutty almond, maybe a little bit of a walnut kind of maltiness to this. Man, this is really smooth. I believe I've had this style already. I'm guessing it might have been the Spotten. Uh, not the Optimator, but another one. The uh, Spotten Munchner. I think it was that one I, I had. It's gone way, way back to hunt back then. It almost tastes like, um, like a bread ready sort of just came out of the oven chewing on a on a bread kind of thing definitely I mentioned the caramel is definitely there um, man this is a fabulous beer um, I, can't, I don't want to say fabulous I'm not gonna go all extreme right there but I say this is a really good product that I'm trying out here um Again, still learning a lot of these styles. Uh, not learning a lot of these styles, but still exploring all my taste buds. Now, again, these are not things I get have in my closet. I mean, excuse me, my refrigerator a lot. There are other things, but but this is not too heavy at four point eight percent. This is a really solid beer, uh, but learning more, still tasting different styles, much more lagers, you know, still embracing, slowly embracing sours, uh, still, you know, some of these imperial sours that are out there now, still trying to embrace that concept. Um, um, styles like, um, I mean, IPA is about... Mm, uh, no, worn out with those. 
but those sort of styles I'm still exploring, trying, it's like, you know, wow, you know, this is interesting. Hmm, this is cool. This is neat, you know. I'm trying to get more familiar today, you know, broaden my interests and horizons. Um, but I wondered, this should be in rotation during Oktoberfest, I feel. Instead of, you know, the usual margins, which tend to be a little more stronger. Um, but if they raised the ABV up, like, to five, I mean, this would be even a bigger, better beer than it is now. So, um, let's see. Now, if you want to look at Vienna lager styles, you can say maybe Boston lager. Sam Adams, that's kind of similar to this. Uh, a beta amber. But those, um, and I won't, maybe you want to put Yingling uh, traditional lager. But, um, but those, to me, don't have that fullness as this one I'm drinking right now. I've had a beta, and I've had the fat tire. Amber and what is the other popular amber uh, from Bell's? Bell's got an amber that's really good. Bell's Run. Um, I've had those, but I wouldn't look at those as ambers. I keep feeling like I've got some magnet in my keys. Um, they don't have the fullness, they don't have the nuttiness, they don't have the bread crust. They do maybe have some of that caramel aroma and some of that. Caramel honey sweetness that some of them they do have, but this is by far better than those. I mean, obviously those are more mass produced, more readily available, but but man, this is good. I mean, I'm I'm very impressed. I'm like I said, I went to the winery and picked this up. A can wasn't you know low expectations on dry, on having this, but um, I'm uh, very impressed with this. So I'm gonna go. B plus all the way, this is an 8.8. Um, really good stuff. I'm, I'm going to try to get more stuff from this brewery. We'll definitely go try to visit the brewery more so, but um, need to visit and need to try some of their other stuff. I've had a lot of stuff in this, from this area. I'm not, I'm not putting Sweetwater or Terrapin in that same category. Those are more, those are big boys, big boy breweries now. Um, they're not regional anymore. They're not local. They're not craft. They're... They're as global as anything right now. As Boston Beer Company, as Dogfish, um, Dogfish Head, this one, Gate City, been to Social Fox, been to South Slopore, um, mentioned Tucker Brewing, been there. Um, Monday Night Brewing, I've been there as well. So I've had some of their stuff. So those, I would say, those are regional made Creature Conference in Athens, brewed here, and I'm liking what I've seen over the years, and uh, now it's been a year since I've been up here, and everything that brewed in some of these breweries are really, really good. So if you're in Georgia, visit some of these breweries, support your local brewery. So um, I'm going to go, literally <laughs> rambling on and on about this, so for the Iron Shield Seven Sisters, Munchner, I'm going to get called a lot of things by butchering the name, but really good, 8.8, .8, so this is a B plus score. If you're in Georgia, check it out, try it, you definitely will like it. Yes, 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 yes. John Henderson here of the Beverage Ramble Team. Keep on watching as always. Cheers, live, laugh, and lunch. Munchner, seven sisters, seven sisters, love, 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 yay.